with this being the Commonwealth year, I wanted to explore uh, Glasgow's past, but also its present. So it all links into the kind of Commonwealth and sort of the, the glory of Glasgow in a way um, that hasn't been seen maybe, or people don't notice. So I'm just bringing that to the fore. The F on the Glasgow alphabet map is the fish place. Um, so it's a fish shop in the old part of the town selling all manner of weird stuff. So obviously fish, but also fruit and deer and pigeon and all sorts of things. So I spoke to Craig in there, but I asked him what's special about the fish place. And he said, what's special about it? It's a Glasgow institution. See the banter in here from the customers. That's what I like about it. With the map, you're able to kind of create your own walking tours and explore the city in your own way. So yeah, it is basically a street map and then the alphabet is sitting within that framework. Um, there's also other places of interest that I slotted in because you can't fit everything in on an alphabet, unfortunately. Yeah, it would be lovely if people just look up a bit more at Glasgow and appreciate the architecture, but also think about all of the different things going on. It's more for people who live in the city already and don't realise how wonderful it is. I'm very pro-Glasgow. <laughs> The S of the Glasgow alphabet is the Glasgow subway. Um, so I spoke to uh, the chair of the Strathclyde Partnership for Transport, Jim, and he was really great. He said the people of Glasgow have a great affection for it. One of the laughs we had was it's got that famous Glasgow world word involved, the shoogle. The subway has a shoogle because it undulates to follow the track, so it shakes side to side and they call it the famous subway shoogle. Unfortunately, with the new system that's coming in, the shoogle's going to disappear, so that'll upset a lot of people. Um, to me, that says a lot about the Glasgow sense of putting up with things and then having an affection for them, even though they're just a bit kind of broken. 